Hey there, Terrence again from Neptune Systems bringing you another product highlight. Today we're going to talk about the Neptune Systems PAR Monitoring Kit or PMK. Uh, try to give you some insight on this product that we just released this last summer, uh, how it can make a difference in your aquarium, uh, and why light matters in your aquarium, uh, and measuring light matters in your aquarium. First of all, uh, what is the problem? Well, light matters in your aquarium, especially if it's a reef aquarium, because the corals in your aquarium have a symbiotic algae inside of them that require light for a photosynthetic process. And the lighting in your aquarium is, for most people, very hard to measure. Uh, and how you measure it is something called PAR. And PAR stands for Photosynthetically Active Radiation. Um, I think I'm only going to say that once in this video and we'll stick to PAR for now. But suffice it to say, it is basically the measurement of how much light, how many photons are, are coming down in one second in one square meter uh, of space. And this is a measurement that people, many of you out there know, that is used to measure the light in our aquariums and how effective certain LED lights are. But more importantly, it's important to know uh, exactly how much light different animals are getting in different parts of the aquarium. So, how do we measure PAR? PAR is measured by different devices that you might have seen out on the market. Um, they're not lux meters, they're PAR meters. Uh, and so it's very important because there's a difference between lux and PAR. I'm not going to get into all the details of that, but suffice it to say again that PAR is what you want to be looking at. Now, the real interesting part of the dilemma of an aquarium keeper is as you turn up the lights in your aquarium, for instance, if you have one of these LED lights like this guy right here from Orfec, at some point, because of the spectrum of the light, your eye can't detect that the light energy is actually still going up past the point your eyes can detect it. And this can be really, really bad for corals in your tank if you're giving them too much light and you don't even know it because you've turned the light up and it seems the same to you. You turn it up some more, it only goes up a little bit, but the power of the light might have gone up by double. So the next thing people think about is what about PAR measurement? I've seen it for a while with these little devices I stick into the aquarium um, and take some measurements. And these are all a very uh, effective way of getting a spot measurement of your PAR, but they don't give you that ongoing understanding of how much light, how much area under the curve across your entire day of light you're getting in that one particular place. Unless you measured it all day long and added it all up and then you'd have to do that again for another space in your aquarium. If you think about it, it's kind of like uh, measuring pH or ORP, right? You don't want to just take one measurement and say, okay, great, right now my pH is this or my ORP is this. You actually kind of want to know what it is across the day. So that's why we came up with the PMK. So first of all, when you open the, any one of our products, just want to point out that we now don't put user manuals inside the box. We try to save on paper, help the environment, and we put a card like this in there to send you to a website that is neptunesystems.com slash get started, where we have online guides that take you step by step for the installation and setup on every one of our products. So please don't do like some people do. I've seen in YouTube videos and that's the first thing they do when they open the box. Definitely look at that address, go to that address, and get help on your product. When you open the PMK box, you're going to see first the sensor. This is the PAR sensor. And this sensor, okay, actually measures the light in your aquarium and gives it back to the apex. Um, one of the interesting things with this sensor is although you may have seen some that are just like this sensor before, this is made out of a new type of material that is safe to be in your aquarium 24 hours a day. So that's really important. It's also in incredibly resistant to algae and, uh, and will not corrode in your aquarium. So that's the sensor, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing that you'll see is a module. This is the Advanced Sensors module. It's a brand new module from Neptune Systems and it's designed to be used with a, a whole slew of different sensors, but in this case we include it with the PAR uh, monitoring kit and we'll get back to some of its other uses later on. Now, after we have those two pieces, the next thing that you'll see 
is obviously a, an Aquabus cable. This is what allows you to connect it up to your Apex, right? And finally, a rock. And I know a lot of people are thinking, why would you include a rock? Well, actually, this is a, uh, a environmentally safe rock made by Real Reef here in California. And the idea behind it is that you can actually put your sensor in your aquarium, hide it inside that rock, and it can stay in your aquarium 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you'll hardly notice that it's there. Um, that is why that little rock is included with it. So, once I have all this equipment, and I've of course connected it up and followed the get starting guide, what am I going to see? Well, you're going to see data just like you see pH data and ORP data on your dashboard. You'll also be able to see the graphs and on your light control uh, graph, which is where you can adjust the lighting schedule of your aquarium. You'll also be able to map overlay onto that your PAR over 24 hours in the aquarium. This will help you adjust your lighting and know exactly how much light you're putting out at the same time. This is very helpful for, for doing your lighting adjustments. And it's not something that you can easily do with a standalone PAR monitor. Now, what are some of the common uses for this particular uh, product? Well, the number one thing that people will do is just get a better understanding of PAR in various parts of their aquarium across the day. If, they ever, if you ever want to make changes to your lighting schedule, you can again see exactly what's going to happen with it. Another common use is you have uh, corals that may not be doing well and you may be over, you know, stressing them with too much light. You can put this right where that coral is and know. You may have a coral that you want to share with a friend and give him a frag of it and it's doing awesome in your aquarium. Well now if he also has the PAR monitoring kit, he can mimic the same amount of light that you have in your aquarium in his. And this means that that coral will have a much higher likelihood of being successful in his aquarium. There's lots of different things that it can be uh, used for. Um, in addition, you can set alarms. So if you happen to be away from home and one of your lights and your T5 goes out, you'd know it because your PAR value would drop below a certain level. Um, if your, your lights uh, are needing changed in a T5 or a, a metal halide, you might be able to understand what's happening with that. So there's a lot of different common uses there. So, one of the things that we, uh, that we heard when we released this product, um, you know, there's plenty of negative nannies out there in all of the forums, uh, uh, there's no shortage of that, is that, well, how could this thing possibly work well in your aquarium 24-7 because it's going to get dirty, or detritus is going to collect on it, or coral and algae. Um, and to some degree that's a little bit true, but Everything in our aquarium, a glass on our aquarium, requires some level of cleaning. And if you have a well-running reef aquarium, the chances that you're going to have large amounts of detritus building up on this in, let's say, your seven-day maintenance time frame are very, very low. We have them running here for weeks in our aquariums and see very little drop-off uh, in the amount of PAR due to the, the sensor getting dirty. And yes, you may every 30, 60 days want to take it out and put it in a little bit of uh, of diluted vinegar to, to clean it up, but it's not really any more of a big deal. It's not like in one day all of your values are going to be wrong. Now, one of the additional benefits that you get of the PAR monitoring kit is that the ASM, right, has additional ports on it. And these ports are used uh, if you want to add another temperature sensor or if you want to add more switches uh, for things like float switches or door switches, you've now got six more switch inputs because of this. So if you wanted to put, for instance, a, another temperature probe in the canopy uh, to, to measure the ambient temperature uh, that your lights may be putting out, let's say, you can do that uh, by simply buying another temperature sensor and, and plugging it in. So the ASM from Neptune Systems is a great new module. In addition to what it can do with the PAR sensor, it also gives you the ability to use third-party sensors that work off of millivolt, zero to five volt, or even with some DIY work, four to 20 milliamp. Uh, this gives you a whole bunch of different sensors that are out there, scientific sensors, uh, level detection through sonar, many different things. Um, and you can certainly take a look to see what's available to you. And maybe you run the PAR monitoring on your tank for two, three months and decide that was good enough and now I want to try a different sensor. You can do it with the advanced sensors module. 
That's it for the product highlight today on the PAR monitoring kit, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the link. Uh, and we hope to have one of these for you every week. Take care.